All right. Um, so in this problem, it says it wants us to determine the domain range and determine if it is a function. So remember just a couple things when thinking about domain and range. Remember, domain is your set of x values or your input values, and your range is your set of output values or your y values. So when we think of domain and range, it's very common for us to think of input and output, um, and also think of it as x and y's. So here, I would, my x is my input and my y is my output. So when doing this, what I'm going to do is when I want to write my domain, all right, all I'm going to say is my domain is going to be all my x values, which will be 3, 11, 121, and 23. So I'm just going to write those all in the same set, 3, 11, 121, and 23. Then, my, so you can notice those are all the x coordinates of each one of my plotted po or coordinate points. Then, to find the range, I'm going to take a look at all the y's coordinates because those are going to be all my output values. So the range is going to be negative 9, 21, 34, and 45. So the last question says, and determine if a function. Well, determine if this relation is a function. I guess I probably could have wrote it out a lot better. So what we need to do is to determine, remember, if it's going to be a function, that every element in our domain maps to exactly one element in our range. And you can see by these ordered pairs that they all map to one, but are those unique elements that they map, you know, do they only map to one? So three, yes, only nine. And that's the only time three maps to another number in all in this relation. 11 maps to 21, 121 maps to 34, and 23 maps to 45. So there's no redundancy of the domain, of two different domains mapping um, to the same input. So therefore, this is a function.